When you see what Daytona Beach is today, it's hard to imagine what it must have been like in the 1930s. The U.S. was grappling with the Great Depression and the possibility of another global war loomed over the nation and the world. Those were dark days for the country, and education often took a backseat to simply surviving from one day to the next. But Mary Carl never wavered from her vision to create a vocational school in Volusia County that would open doors to a better life for this area's young adults. Born on November 2nd, 1895, in Harbor Beach, Michigan, Mary moved to Daytona Beach in 1921 and assumed the traditional role of mother and homemaker for much of her life. She married had children, one of whom was former Florida Supreme Court Justice Fred Carl. But by 1930, Mary's interest in helping people and creating ties within the community brought her to the Volusia County Public School System, where she taught at Mainland High School. She then joined the understaffed and struggling Opportunity School, which was operating on Beach Street. She began by teaching courses such as business English, typing, and shorthand, and was promoted to director of the Opportunity School in 1931. This was no small achievement, as that post was traditionally held by male educators, and it put her in a position to strengthen and broaden the opportunities available to her students. Over time, the Volusia County Vocational School evolved and became a reality as school began offering training in construction trades. As, and as the United States emerged from the Great Depression, Mary added more programs to support the area's growing tourism and hospitality industry. When World War II began, Mary again responded to meet the demands of the industrial jobs, for, for industrial jobs such as welding, boat construction, engine repair, and when the war ended, the school again shifted to focus to receiving and retraining veterans for work in civilian jobs. It was during this time that Mary began a campaign to acquire additional property for the growing school, and there were some early setbacks in that regard. Undeterred, she enlisted the help of friends and colleagues such as U.S. Senator Claude Pepper and Mary McLeod Bethune, founder of Bethune-Cookman University. After a visit to Washington, D.C. and a meeting in the White House, she was ultimately successful in acquiring 29 acres and 55 buildings from the federal government. In 1948, the merger of the school and property was complete, and it was renamed the Mary Carl Vocational School in honor of the woman who had dedicated so much of her life to its cause. Nine years later, in 1957, the Florida Leg State Legislature authorized the creation of Daytona Beach Junior College from the existing Mary Carl Vocational School. Now, Mary Carl died before I was born, and, but yet people would come up to me as I was growing up in this community. And I know my brother and sisters had the same experience. And they said, well, you know, Mary Carl did something. Or I went to Mary Carl Vocational School. I learned this. And, Mary and when I was preparing for the talk, I, I just Googled Mary Carl Vocational School. And what surprised me was all the obituaries that has attended Mary Carl Vocational School, learned welding at Mary Carl Vocational School. The Mary Carl story unfolds like a well-crafted narrative with an appropriate ending. When I read, hear, or learn about Mary Brennan Carl, I find it hard not to be impressed by her vision, and particularly given the socio-political cultural context of her era, her tenacity. Kudos to Mrs. Carl for understanding that when you invest in people with education and training opportunities, you invest in your